Another week, boys, and another twab. This week at Bungie, we look to trials, freelance, fashion, and pumpkins. Festival of the Lost is in full swing. And if you haven't donned the mask and earned some candy yet, get to it. Eva has goodie bags, exotic cosmetics, and a refreshed collection of fun masks for you to earn over the course of the event. If you're still on the hunt for a perfectly rolled Jurassic Green Pulse Rifle, join some friends to jam them out. That's right, guys. We actually did a complete review on that Pulse Rifle. I know we did like a first impressions video, but then we ended up doing a god roll portion of that video feel free to check that out fellas now if you're looking for a challenge outside of the festival we have a few options for you grandmaster nightfall features exes crash this week sending shivers down the spines of many guardians who've been with us since destiny 2 launched all those years ago the comedian shotgun and shadow price auto rifle are dropping from the nightfall this week and if you like a shiny adept version grandmaster is the difficulty for you shadow realm and astral alignment can also be played at legend difficulty to round out a few triumphs for the seasonal realm walker seal sure you can try to take on the challenge with smaller fire teams or even solo but we highly recommend forming a fire team before taking the plunge this week we'll be host to a few things we have our second trials labs offering at 10 a.m pacific tomorrow and a few festival of the lost themed contests to kick off so starting with trials of osiris freelancers welcome in less than 24 hours saint 14 will be dabbling another labs weekend for trials of osiris for this round we'll be looking at freelance for those that don't know Freelance is matchmaking no specifically for solo players. No pre-made fire teams may enter. While players continue to earn Trials reputation and even go for a flawless run, this is a separate node that will be located directly above the Trials of Osiris in the director. Ah, I got you. So just there to the right, similar to essentially competitive, right? Now remember, if you're going in alone, watch your back. There's no telling if your freelance teammates will be looking out for you. Find a buddy, move together, and maybe your team will come out on top. Through this freelance weekend, Trials reputation will be doubled. And if you're rounding out your trial specific armor collection or aiming for a good roll on any of the weapons that trials has to offer this is a great weekend to jam out some rep now remember once you've completed a full card even if you lost a game or two your post game rewards are increased enhancement prisms ascendant shards and trial ingrams all have a chance to drop whether you want to focus your ingrams and roll a specific reward or just roll the dice this is the best way to earn trials loot armor drops also have a higher chance for better stat rolls this week we also introduce a fresh set of seasonal challenges including trial by firing squad to complete it win 20 rounds over the course of the weekend and be rewarded with a reed's regret linear fusion rifle xp and bright dust once you've gotten your hands on reed's regret this also unlocks the ability to focus trials ingrams for more rolls at saint 14 good luck this weekend while there thankfully won't be any spiders clowning your view i've heard our setting this week is a little spooky be careful when you open doors could be a normal 1v1 engagement with an opponent or you can find yourself staring at a bull charging striker titan in the face. Just the thought is terrifying to me. So that's right, guys. We do have freelance trials coming. And understand this is just for this weekend. Bungie is actually a little wary about this. And they actually stated that this is something they wanted to try. And I'm assuming in previous content creator summits, maybe some of those content creators didn't want to see a freelance mode. Because ideally, everyone stays in the same pool. The player base stays high, therefore less sweaty, right? The reality reality is though over the past few weeks inside of trials solo players have been getting wrecked this is obviously bungie's way of trying to see if this is really going to be a permanent solution or not but really the only way freelance inside of trials will ever become permanent is if the overwhelming response this weekend to trials is favorable we'll see if that's actually the case now moving on we have another costume contest that's right dude so many people ask what this emblem is because less is always rocking it but essentially guys you want to get your best outfit mask costumes armor combinations get creative with your settings your shaders as well as your vehicles sparrows in the background group shots are also allowed and you will post your submission to twitter instagram or the community creation portal with the hashtag festival of the laws fashion 2021 and again for those that actually want to go for that fashion emblem this is how you do it all winners will be shared at the end of the month now moving on to paint and pumpkins in-game fashion isn't the only show we're putting on how about an art show too over the past years we've seen wonderful creations sprout up around Festival of the Lost. Some are created with pen and paper, others with some digital art programs that cook up amazingly spooky effects. Pins aren't your thing? Out of paper? No problem. Grab a pumpkin and something to carve it with. Here's what you'll need to do. Make some art, whether it be a pumpkin carving, a digital paint, or something handcrafted to show your skills. It's all welcome. Post your submission to Twitter, Instagram, or the community creation portal with the hashtag Festival of the Lost Art Show 2021. And just like
like our costume contest, we'll be sharing winners through the end of October 31st, 2021. Oh man, that actually looks good, man. I'm gonna have to get some pumpkins. No lie, these are actually amazing. Look at this one, Telesto. Outside of that, guys, there was a hot fix that went out today. One of them is actually targeting the Corrupted, which is about to be relevant for us here pretty soon because the Corrupted will be the Grandmaster Nightfall. But essentially, Sadia's shields would generate faster than expected on Nightfall difficulties. That's now been fixed. Also, Trials with Cyrus. Capturing zones and Trials with Cyrus no longer grants super energy. Trials also now restricts access of fire team leaders if they have not reached the appropriate gear power level. They also added a tooltip for artifact power and disabled. Fix an issue that caused flawless players who reset to their ticket to prioritize matchmaking with other flawless resetters for the first two wins on a new ticket. This issue would occur even when flawless matchmaking was disabled. Traveling to the simulated lighthouse will no longer reset ritual activity streaks. Interesting on the change there for flawless players who could reset their ticket to prioritize matchmaking with other flawless resetters for the first two wins on the new ticket. We actually got that as the first two games of your ticket were so much sweatier, but we just assume it was just like skill-based matchmaking or something. Regardless though, glad that's fixed. Moving on though to weapons. Fix an issue where Demolitionist was not reloading the weapon when a grenade was thrown. Also fix an issue where picking up a relic during a reload animation would result in ammo duplication. Weapons will now correctly reload from reserves. Also the Festival of the Lost weapons, Jurassic Green, Braid Tech Werewolf, and Horror Story now drop at a consistent power level. Now as a final outro here from DMG, soon TM. The team has been hard at work over the last few months planning some special things for the 30th anniversary release, not just in content, but also some quality of life updates. Cosmo and I have responded to a few questions here and there about bug fixes like a pass on Doom Marchers and its chain lightning, some aim assist tuning on Vex Mythic class, which will keep the weapon viable in PvE while addressing some PvP concerns, and even a fix for those pesky Valor overflowing screens that occasionally pop up in the middle of your Crucible matches. Our upcoming patch is more than just bug fixes though. The team was able to squeeze in a little time for other bits of exotic weapon tuning as they transition to fully focus on the Witch Queen. Now, don't get me wrong, this isn't a full season's worth of buffs, but a handful of fun things to give some exotics a fighting chance in a given guardian's loadout. I've heard whispers of a few changes that have already got me thinking about switching things up. I've also seen a few previews of upcoming exotic ornaments that I just need to get my hands on. The end of November, early December is the target for the full write-up from our sandbox centric teams, so stay tuned. Until then, we've got spiders to dodge and pumpkins to carve. Cheers, DMG. Yeah, fellas, I actually think we're gonna get a sizable, and I mean a pretty sizable change there to the sandbox leading up into the Witch Queen. No, it's not a full season worth, but if you already start thinking about it, you've got Vex at the class, which is going to be getting a nerf. Dune Marchers, Shadow Dive, by the way, is also getting a nerf, and some potential buffs as well, right? And then when you slap on Galahorn with Galahorn's exotic catalyst as well, the sandbox will be shaken up for sure. And I love that DMG actually said it right there. I've heard whispers, and he actually has that there in italics. Does that mean a whisper of the worm buff coming? Huh? That's what I'm getting. I don't know what you guys are getting from that, but when I see that, I'm thinking whisper of the worm, which would be an an interesting one to rotate back into the meta. I don't think Whisper's really been a meta weapon since it's nerfed like what two and a half, three years ago? Bungie might actually be cycling back to more precision based weapons like sniper rifles and most notably Whisper of the Worm. So guys, let me know in the comments below what you think. Apologies for the late twop of the day. I was actually in a Twitch rival tournament, so I really appreciate you guys that still came and watched this video. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right. <laughs>